Hey guys, welcome back to Medical Coding with Blue. Today's episode is all about why you should not quit your medical billing and coding program. If you are brand new to my channel, welcome. I am Blue, I'm a medical coder. Okay, first things first. Now, today's message is going to sting just a little bit, but I want you guys to think about the impact of your decision long term when you are struggling temporarily in your medical billing and coding program. Medical billing and coding is not an easy field, no matter who tries to sell you that idea that it is easy, it is not. We have to know what doctors know while never having gone to medical school. The vast majority of us have either a high school diploma or a GED coming in. So there's a lot of things that are stacked up against us, but it does not mean that we cannot be successful in this field. Now I will also say this, when it comes down to brass knuckles and this is your final decision if you wanna quit, and you have decided and there's nothing that can stop you, then by all means. But I hope this video today will help you to think about that choice that you make before you do it. Because the long-term impacts of your decision-making during this time is going to impact your entire future. Now, when you think about it, if you quit when the going gets tough, and usually that's when people start to feel that burnout and they want to quit, is mostly when these students are encountering things that they don't quite understand and maybe they're not speaking up to ask questions because that is part of the problem too is nobody wants to look like they don't know but the thing is about not knowing is that everybody doesn't know <laughs> it's new for everybody even i've seen some of the most educated people struggle to understand medical billing and coding it is not an easy feat so the thing you have to remember is you have to give yourself a break in those moments when it's starting to get really frustrating and you're just like, I wish this process would speed up. That is part of being in school is that you're gonna feel that way. You're gonna feel like I can't wait to get done with this so I never have to take another test. Um, but this field is all about learning. So this is something that you're gonna have to get used to whether you like it or not. Um, but the option to quit should not be an option at all. And I will say that because even when I was in school, there was times when it was very frustrating for me when I just, I was like, I, I don't understand this. Like, how am I ever going to get this? The option to quit was never there. I never gave myself that option to quit. I did get frustrated. Yes. Cause there was things that I just didn't understand. The way to combat that was to educate myself. That is the only way you're ever going to be able to mitigate anything that you don't understand is by educating yourself. And that is the only way you're going to start to quell those feelings of anxiety because you're actually spending time and in getting into it. Now, I say a lot of really good tips on my channel and I say they're really good tips because they helped me. Now, I always talk about being a high caliber medical coder. I know I am high caliber. How do I know that I'm high caliber? Because everything that I do is geared towards making sure that everybody is getting fair credit for what they do, making sure that all the details are there. And I'm a very detail oriented person. So when I give you guys my advice and my tips, it's not just so that I can, you know, be like, oh, well, look at me. I did this and I did this. It's to help you guys as well, because this is stuff that no one told me when I was coming up. Uh, there was not YouTube, at least that I knew of. <laughs> um, I'm not very tech savvy. And even though watching YouTube is not very tech savvy, but still, um, it was it was a lot of the unknown when I was in school. So that was a lot of things that I faced on my own. I'm trying to share with you guys stuff that was helpful for me to make it a little bit more easier for you guys. But if you don't want to take my advice, then it makes it a little bit more difficult. Then you feel like you're going to be out there <laughs> kind of floating unless you find something else or someone else uh, to give you advice that you feel is right on the money. But again, with quitting medical coding school, and a lot of people say, well, I feel overwhelmed. It's just so much information. When it is so much and they're giving you a lot of assignments, this is something that you're gonna have to learn discipline. And discipline is really sorely kind of lacking uh, in a lot of people's lives. When you start to get into school and you are in a program like Medical Billing and Coding, you wanna make sure that you are on a schedule. And that is the only way, again, you're gonna be able to stay in a focused lane and you're not going to want to feel you're not going to want to feel you're not going to feel those feelings of i'm going to give this up because i'm just so overwhelmed when you're disciplined and when you're scheduled you're not going to feel that overwhelmedness because i have this time for this and i have this time for this 
and I know that at this date is when this whole chapter is going to be closed out, or I know that this class is going to finish on this date. So I'm going to make the time here, here, and here in order to uh, make sure that I understand this, ask questions if I need to, reach out and find a tutor. You know, a lot of times people are just suffering in silence and they say, well, it's just too much and I just give it up and, you know, my teacher doesn't want to help me. Unfortunately, <laughs> teachers um, are sometimes in the field for a couple of different reasons. And you're going to find that some teachers are not so good and you're going to find other teachers that are really great and that want to teach you those critical thinking skills. If you happen to get a teacher that is proctoring from a book, not really teaching you those critical thinking skills, you're going to know this, right? And the thing to do is start reading, is start looking at videos, is start um, getting and finding a tutor or finding a mentor, somebody that can explain these things to you so that you can better understand. Because once you know that if your teacher is not helping you or not going to help you or refuses to help you, um, then you need to reach out and find other ways of finding support. Don't just dwell on the fact that your teacher won't help you. Because if you always dwell on the fact that your teacher won't help you, what happens when you get into the real world? Are you going to dwell on the fact that your other veteran coders that are around you won't help you either? The thing about veteran coders is you'll have two different kinds. You'll have the ones that are okay with helping you and the other ones who come from the old school <laughs> thought of, well, no one helped me, so I'm not going to help you. To me, that's the wrong way to think. You can't do that to new people, especially when they're just starting and they had the same sort of fears and anxieties like you did. You know, it's not, it doesn't make sense to me to repeat the past. You have to be willing to step up and help and, and be there for the future. You know, you have to be able to plant those seeds uh, for trees that are going to grow and you're not going to be under that shade, but the next generation is. So it's something to think about. It's a huge responsibility to become a medical biller and coder. You're going to be responsible for a lot of things. And yeah, sometimes maybe the school didn't tell you that or they kind of t enticed you with the money or they enticed you with, oh yeah, you can code at home and blah, blah, blah. All these little fine things that they say, but they're not really telling you about the nitty gritty. And now when you're in school and you're starting to find out, it's a lot of studying, it's a lot of reading. That's what this field is. And I always tell people, I hope that you do your research. If you decide that you want to do this and that you're not just enticed with the shiny things, because with that comes a lot of responsibility. So there's things to think about and consider when you're getting into this field. Uh, but if you're in the program and you just started, you need to give yourself a chance uh, before you say, oh, I quit. Because I've heard from people who are a couple of weeks in and they're already ready to quit. I mean, you need to give yourself a chance. You're not going to know everything from Jump Street. Like as soon as you get in there, oh yeah, I'm going to know this. I'm going to know that. I didn't know anything <laughs> going in. I didn't, I did not know about medical terminology. I knew some words because I'm a reader, but it didn't mean that I knew everything. And there's still words that I look up even today. <laughs> it is a constant learning process. So I didn't know when I, even when I got into school. And so that was the thing. I was like, okay. You know, but when the going gets tough, you know, they say the tough get going. That means you need to dig in. And if you're midway through your program and you're feeling that burnout, like, I'm, I'm just going to give this up. You're literally halfway there. You cannot give up. You owe it to yourself to finish what you started. And that's what happens a lot of times, too, is people are so quick to just give up what they've started. Guys, see your project through. If you got started with this because you say, oh yeah, you know, it sounds like a really good field. It sounds like something I'd be interested in. And I, I really want to go for this. Keep that same momentum. When you start, when you feel yourself start to lose that momentum, you need to look for ways to motivate yourself and look for those self-soothing type of activities, like whether it is using flashcards or watching um, surgery videos on YouTube. Even if it has nothing to do with coding, but just watching the surgeries and listening to that is going to help you to understand the bigger picture so that when you do start studying those op notes, you're going to really start to understand like the wording and everything else. But you have to put yourself in those situations. You can't just say, well, I feel like I'm going to give it up. So I'm going to, I'm just going to give it up guys. Again, look at your why 
Look at why you want to do this. Do you want a, a better life for yourself? Maybe you were working, you are or were working in a minimum wage job. I had a couple of minimum wage jobs <laughs> while I was in school. I had come from uh, delivering phone books. That was my work. <laughs> that was what I did uh, for a living for many years. I delivered phone books. Yeah. So that's the thing. You can literally change your life doing this, but you have to be willing to do the hard work. And there's going to be times when you're going to have to feel that uncomfortable feeling. You need to face it head on. Get comfortable with the uncomfortable. Get comfortable with the fact that you're not going to know everything. But do not let yourself give up. Don't be like so easy to say, oh yeah, I'm going to give it up. Well, I'm going to try this other thing, but no, nah, I'm going to give it. No, because you're always going to be like that. And then you're going to look back on your life like, what the heck happened? Some people have this realization after 10 years. Some people have this realization after 20 years um, because they've been messing around with the idea of going to medical coding school. Or maybe they were in it and they just decided to drop out because it was too hard. So that's the thing, guys. When you start something, see it through because you owe it to yourself to see your projects and your goals through to the end, uh, to get to that finish line. And if you're at the finish line and you're about to go uh, get ready to sit for your certification, take your certification. I can't tell you this week how many people have told me, you know what, Blue? I went through a medical billing and coding program many years ago and I just didn't sit for the exam because I was so scared and I just didn't think that I could pass the test. You didn't even give yourself a chance to pass or fail the exam. You didn't even take the exam. So when you start to think that, well, I'm just going to, I'm not going to take it because I, I don't know if I'm in, you went through all that schooling. You went through all that heartache and all those tears and frustration and time away from your family, your kids, your significant other to say, I'm not going to take it. Guys, do yourself a favor. Whether you feel ready or not, you need to sit for it. Get serious. Look at it like, I got to do this. You owe it to yourself. And be proud of yourself whether you pass or fail. Because many people who have lots of education have failed these tests. These tests are not easy. And they're designed not to be easy. Because this field is tough. You have to get a tough, thick skin when you are getting into this field. Because the um, just the learning it part will beat you up <laughs> figuratively, of course. And then when you get out into the real world, oh, yeah, you want to talk about being dropped into the deep end of the pool. Don't let this scare you, but let this be an awakening for you, because that's exactly what this is meant to be. It's not meant to scare you, but it's meant to guys, you got to wake up because if I can do it, I'm going to use myself as an example because I didn't have a college education. Like I said, I came from delivering phone books for a living. Now, I love delivering phone books. There was nothing wrong with it. I made a lot of really good money and I traveled and I did all these things. But times changed. So that's why I'm in this field. And that's okay because that's where my life path led, led me. And I always say medical coding found me because I, I didn't know anything about it. So now that I have been in it for all these years, and I have seen the wonderfulness that it has given me, the, the great life that it's given me. I mean, I have a great job. I have a great place, a beautiful car. And I get to, I have a channel that has over 10,000 subscribers. And I did this all with no editing, <laughs> no fancy stuff. This is all organic. This 10,000 plus subscribers that I have is all you guys. I'm just saying. So... There's, there's going to be those times when you're going to feel that way, where you're going to feel, I can't, I can't. Yes, you can. And I've always said this. Yes, you can. And I'm going to keep saying it. Yes, you can. Failure is not an option. And I know that sounds cliche. Oh, that's cliche. But it's true. When you stop and think about it, yes, you can. When you talk to yourself and you say, yes, I can. And you keep saying it until you believe it. And you keep reading your books, even when you don't feel like it. Well, Blue, I don't have time. You can make time. Trust me, you can make time. There is not a single person who has been through school who hasn't tried to fit in studying somewhere when they're taking it seriously. You got to take it seriously because if you're not taking it seriously, then you're literally wasting your own time. Find something else that you will fulfill you.
but you want to be fulfilled on an intellectual level and do all the things that medical coders do and work in the places uh, that they work. I work with some really awesome providers <laughs> and I have met really wonderful people in my time so far in this field. And so I don't think I could or would want to, to do anything else other than this and to be able to share all of this with you. It makes me happy. And so, like I said, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. I've said that since the beginning of my channel. And I, say, and I say it now. I don't even feel like I'm working. And if you want that kind of life, know that there's going to be times when you're going to feel like you want to give up. But you can't. Do not let yourself. Because you're only going to let yourself down. And there's nothing worse than letting yourself down. Because then you got to listen to that and have that nagging regret your entire life. Well, what if I had just done it? Do it, guys. Stick with it. Do not give up. And again, it's going to get boring. There's, It's not always glamorous. A medical coding is not always glamorous. But the things that you can gain from it and get from it are so much more when you allow yourself to get into it. That's all I'm going to say. So best of luck to you, all of you. And I say this with an open heart that I really do wish the best for you no matter what you choose to do, whether you decide to stay and uh, continue on with your studies or you decide that you want to pack it up and, and leave. But I want you to think about what you're doing before you do it and don't make a decision based on an emotion. At least give yourself a week. Continue to go through the program for a week and if you still feel that way, then you can reevaluate it. But at least give yourself a week to continue studying and continue going through the process because one, you've already spent the money. <laughs> Uh, number two, it'll give you time to cool off and get rid of that feeling and get past that feeling of wanting to quit. I'm just saying. I'm going to wrap this one up. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope that you will share this if it helped you. Give it a thumbs up, guys, please, because it really does help me. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see y'all on the next video. Bye.